Welcome back to another episode of the free VC Plugs Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. This is the Loud Max. This is a decent maximizer. So far, one of the best I've seen yet in terms of like a free maximizer to boost also the loudness of your track. I'm going to give this one a four out of five. So let's jump into it. So I have my track pulled up here, Bass Fire, the cinematic VIP that I did. This one and this track has already been mastered, and typically when I do do a maximizer per se, or if I'm boosting something for loudness, which is also a big thing in EDM and you know heavy metal and other genres, I actually usually use the Fab Filter Pro L2, but also that is a paid plugin. So what I decided to do on this one, I'll have utility here in Ableton, turn down six decibels, and I also turn this down here as well, so you can hear this like this. All right. So you can see here, input, output, and then, all right, I have the threshold here, and then I can do this, and then also the main part of this plugin, right, the main meat of it is this guy right here. All right. So you can kind of see here, uh, I might go, you can maybe, I'll just leave it on a sec. I mean, this is that's a pretty, I want some dynamic range. Okay, now this is already mastered, so maybe this is not the best example. You know, let's do, let's make a little, maybe, riff and master that. So that might be a little bit better, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's add this in. Let's do, like, these. That's the sound of creating a MIDI thing. All right, so we're going to do that. Um, it's going to throw anything on. Let's do, like, Throw in serum. I've a, I'll just throw in a random like preset that I have. I have a bunch of random ones. Let's do G Madness. What does this one sound like? Mm. Electric. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. We'll just do that one. Now it's a loud max on that. Let's see what happens. All right, so it does increase the loudness, but again, like I said, I, I think if you're looking for like a free maximizer, this is a great one to, to go, and that's why I'm giving it a four out of five, just because I haven't really seen a lot of good maximizers if you want to just boost the loudness of your track, but at the same time, I, I'm just some of the algorithms that this one uses, I'm not the biggest fan of. You know, there are some cases when it comes to free VST plugins, I'm like, hey, you know what? This is a great option. The difference between a free one and a paid one is like that much. So just stick with the free one. In this case, I'm going to be honest. If you can try to save up money, whatever, and just get the Pro L2 or some other. I mean, in some cases, especially if I'm mastering, because this is typically something you probably use on your master chain when you're mastering your records. I might actually stick with a master chain that has maybe like a glue compressor at the end or maybe even Ableton's limiter. I mean, honestly, if I'm especially going for loudness, this one can do decently well, and that's why I'm giving it the 4 out of 5. I'm going to maybe a higher rating than I typically would, just because I haven't really seen a lot of maximizing plugins out there. But, eh, I don't know. I would, if I can, prefer the Ableton stock for mastering, especially for loudness. But hey, if you don't have Ableton, if you're like, shoot, I don't really have that many plugins in my DAW, I need just something to maximize, it's your go-to.